Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse shoe review of the Head Revolt Pro 4.0. Re-engineered from the ground up, the Revolt Pro 4.0 brings a new level of performance to the Head shoe lineup. An all new last, upper construction and midsole come together to offer true to size fit and a medium width. For a secure ride, Head's T-Core construction provides a 360 degree wrap to support your feet on every movement. The new TPU upper combines with a durable outsole to ensure your Revolt Pro 4.0s are built to last. I've had the pleasure of testing several versions of the Revolt Pros over the years and was super excited to wear this fourth version out there on the court. I generally prefer the Sprint Pro just because I have a skinny foot and that shoe wraps my foot nicely and also rely on my foot speed and that is a speed oriented shoe. This one definitely more stable, durable in its mindset and it took me a little bit of a break in to get it molded to the shape of my foot and get that secure fit. Early on, I was sliding around in, inside the shoes a little bit too much. And I also found the traction to improve as the test wore on. The first couple of wears, shoes were a little slick, but once I got them scrubbed in, they gripped the court much better and I was finding the grip I needed for that quick and aggressive first push off. Durability wise, I thought the shoes up held up really well. Both the upper and the outsole are holding up to that cord abrasion out here on the hard courts and so it became a really fun play test for me. Shoes were comfortable throughout and uh, with the ventilation, if you peel off the stick on the inside of the shoe, open up that ventilation, you get some nice breathability too. So fun play test for me. Like Chris had mentioned, uh, I felt like these shoes were a little bit stiff right out of the box. For me, it took about three to four hours of encore time before they kind of really broke in and felt comfortable. But unlike the previous version though, the length of these shoes felt true. So I was wearing, able to wear my regular size 10s. I also felt like the width of these shoes were a good fit for my wider foot. On court, it just felt like a very solid shoe. Not too heavy, not too light. The traction was good. I felt the side to side stability was very good as well. Although when moving forward aggressively and trying to stop, I was getting a little bit of toe jamming. Um, it happened more so at the beginning of the play test and as the play test wore on, it, it became less frequent. So overall, I think this was just a solid update to a very solid shoe. This was a play test for me, um, like Jay and Chris mentioned, that um, it basically trended upwards from start to finish. Out of the box, I was having some difficulty with traction as well as some toe jamming moving forward into the court. But after the you know three or four hour mark, like Jay mentioned, things really started to sort themselves out and I started to really like the shoes. As far as pivoting and kind of that lateral movement is concerned, I felt like I was connected to the ground and could really trust them on a really aggressive planting into a shot and then pushing out. Durability as well, I put plenty of hours into the shoe and they were really rock solid throughout, barely a scratch on them. My only complaint with these guys after that break-in period was the underfoot cushioning. There were a few hitting sessions that my feet were sore at the end of them, so I would have liked a little, a little bit more cushioning in the bottom of the shoes, but with the six-month warranty and all the other positives, I would definitely recommend these. Thanks for joining us for our opinion on the Revolt 4.0 from Head. For more information about this shoe or anything else tennis-related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.